Hey everybody, it's your girl Herbal Farm Sister. I know the vast majority of you have seen this video circulating on social media, so I decided I would take a few minutes to explain what this is. This is not a new species of worms, a government experiment, or any of the other stories circulating about this video. This is a horse hair worm. Horse hair worms belong to a phylum closely related to nematodes called the metamorpha. They are not true nematodes, but look very similar, hence their name, but they are usually a lot longer. They are not a new species of worms, but they are an understudied group of animals. What is known is that they are parasitoid animals to many arthropods. Horsehair worms develop as parasites in the bodies of grasshoppers, crickets, cockroaches, beetles, mantids, spiders, wood lice, and other arthropods. For the most part, they are not parasites of humans, livestock, or pets, and pose no public health threat. There has, however, been a few studies that show humans have had them in their bodies, but I will discuss how that happened in a bit. The adults can be several centimeters to one meter long and about three millimeters wide. Many times they go unnoticed because they look like a stick, a string, or a piece of hair, and are only seen once they start to move, which really freaks people out. They are also seen emerging from various arthropods, and the internet is flooded with videos of this happening. Horsehair worms are found on the ground or on plants, especially near water. They have been found in ponds, swimming pools, lakes, and many other places. You have probably been in a close contact with one and didn't even realize it. There are male and female worms and they have an interesting life cycle from what is known about them. Again, like I said, they are still an understudied group of animals. Males will coil around females to mate. They usually mate in spring, summer, and fall. At times you can see large numbers of the worms intertwined together forming a ball of mating horse hair worms. A female horse hair worm after mating will lay numerous eggs usually in an aquatic environment or in damp soil. The eggs will hatch into a parasitic larva. The larva is very small, about 100 microns. The larvae will do one of two things in its development. If it is consumed by a small aquatic arthropod, it will form a cyst inside that arthropod and wait for it to be consumed by a larger one. If it is ingested by a large arthropod, it will live on the inside of the host and emerge from it as a free living adult that does not feed. The adults are not parasitic and move around. What you see in this video is an adult. My guess it got into the pepper either by being placed in there for the video or the adult emerged from an insect that may have burrowed into the pepper. The pepper could have also been damaged and had a hole allowing the horse hair worm to crawl into it. However it got there, it was not there to feed on the pepper or to infest humans. So remember when I said there were a few cases of horsehair worms found in humans? Well, there were two cases of horsehair worms found in Japan. I have provided a link in the description of this video to the study if you would like to read it in its entirety. Long story short, two horsehair worms were collected from the vomit and stool of an 80-year-old woman in November 2009 that lived in Kyoto City, Japan, and in the mouth of a one-year-old boy in December 2009 in Nara City, Japan. The scientists came to the conclusion that the worms got into the humans because they most likely consumed either a cricket or some other arthropod that contained the worm. While insect eating in the United States is seen as taboo, in other countries like Japan, insects can be found in many dishes. Other than those two cases, there have not been any others documented. Horsehair worms are actually seen as beneficial because their larvae are parasitoids and feed on many arthropods that have been deemed as pests. Their feeding and emergence as an adult 
will ultimately kill the arthropod it's living in. They do not cause harm to humans and other animals and do not require any type of control. If you see one, I hope this video helps take away some of the fears that are associated with them. Just know if you decide to chow down on insects, you could inadvertently eat a horsehair worm as well. So thank you for once again bugging out with Nadia. Until next time, be great. If you like the content that I present, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos.